Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I just want to chat with y'all, and I want to talk with y'all about something important. What I wanted to discuss with y'all, because I know, like, everybody on, on the media is talking about the situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. I just want to add something to this because, the, 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 like, seeing Will Smith slap Chris Rock, it can actually teach you another lesson. It's very important to understand and to realize that when it comes down to your mouth, that your mouth can come with consequences. When you talking shit about somebody's girlfriend, when you talking shit about somebody's wife, talking shit about somebody's kids, talking shit about some someone's husband someone's boyfriend when you when you talk a lot of shit when you talk a lot of trash you know you, you know there's times where you got to deal with the consequences you know you got to be able to back it up and and you see especially as a man i mean besides the the situation between will smith and chris rock y'all remember the situation between nick cannon and emma Num? When Eminem was dissing Mariah Carey, when he was saying all types of stuff about Mariah Carey, you know, calling her, you know, like a like a hoe, a, a bitch, all types of names. I mean, really, in, in the diss track, the warning, like Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon didn't really have no chance. I mean, with the diss track, the warning, Eminem won the battle. But but yeah, I mean, Nick Cannon. He he said he went looking for Eminem, like, but you see, when it when it comes down to somebody talking a lot of crap about you, talking shit about you, I mean, as a man, you can be man enough to where y'all can have a man to man conversation, and you see, that's how Nick Cannon was. He was man enough to the point where he wanted to have a man to man conversation with Eminem to get him to apologize. And you see, unfortunately, he never really got to, got to talk to Eminem, unfortunately. You know, I mean, he attempted to talk to Eminem so many times, like, he went looking for Eminem. You know, I mean, he, and you see, you know, when it comes down to your mouth, you know, like, when you have to deal with the consequences of your, of your mouth, Nick Cannon wanted to do, like, a boxing match against Eminem when, when they were working on that movie, Southpaw. The movie that Jake uh, Gyllenhaal is in, because before they were saying that Eminem was gonna get the part, but unfortunately Eminem didn't get the part. I think it was because he was busy working on his on one of his albums. But yo, know, your mouth can come with consequences, and seeing that last night between Will Smith and Chris Rock, it, it should just show you show you a thing or two. You know, it, you got to be logic about what comes out of your mouth. You know, there's nothing wrong about thinking before you speak. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. You got people that don't pull no punches. You know, you got people that don't pull no punches. They say whatever is on their mind. They say how they feel. They don't hold back. But I do know that there is a decent amount of people that are raised to the point where it's like, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. I mean, now, when it comes down to my music, when it comes down to my raps, do I always have something nice to say? No. I mean, if I'm pissed off about something, you're going to know that I'm pissed off about something. Like, like y'all y'all have heard songs by me where I'm pissed off. Y'all even heard diss tracks, and you see that's a part of the culture, but you see... Like I'm, 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 I mean, like I, when it comes down to me talking shit about somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm able to back it up. Now, I'm not just going. I'm, I'm not the type of person that that runs my mouth. I'm not the type of person that just talks shit about everybody. I mean, I don't have a problem with nobody. But I know, like, as a rapper, as a hip-hop artist, this is a part of the culture. Battle rapping is a part of hip-hop. It's been a part of hip-hop for years. It's been a, a part of hip-hop ever since hip-hop was first invented. So, yeah. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I know, like, a lot of people are talking, you know, with this cancel culture stuff, saying that Will Smith needs to be canceled. I mean, really, if you ask me, I feel what what Will Smith did, he was just fed up. He was just fed up. You know, like like you talking all types of crap about his wife like that. He just got fed up. 
you know, so yeah, that should show you a thing or two that your mouth can come with consequences. You know, it can get you beat up. It can get you killed. You got to be able to back it up. You know, like, like, I, like I said in my other video, there's, there's areas, you know, in the state, like I said, North Carolina, there's areas where if you, where you, where if you call somebody all types of names, it can get you killed. And you see, you know, I mean, dealing, you know, like you got to deal with the consequences of your mouth. You can be in a situation where you can get killed. But you, but you see, that's the thing about it. Uh, another thing about this hip hop stuff is that a lot of these, a lot of these rappers, a lot of these artists, they want to talk a lot of shit on the internet. But when it comes down to face to face, they don't want no problem. They don't want the smoke. You know what I mean? See, see, that's the thing about it. Like, you know, you know, rappers, y'all, y'all got to start like if you if you able to talk a lot of crap on the Internet, you know, you got to be able to like really back it up when somebody confronts you face to face. See, I don't really be on I don't really be on the Internet talking crap. I don't really be on the Internet talking shit like if somebody wants to say something negative about me on social media, it doesn't make a difference whether it's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. I'm not going to waste my time to respond. I'm not going to waste my energy. I got to I got to protect my energy. My energy is too precious. Same thing with y'all. Y'all energy is too precious for y'all to take time out of your day to respond to like a a negative comment. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, you, you just really have to watch what you say sometimes. You know, you really got to, like, watch your mouth. Because your mouth can come with consequences. And when you when you go no holds barred, when you do no mercy. And, and you see, when it comes down to real life, it's it's not like a rap battle where it's no holds barred, where it's, where it's no holds barred, like where it's no mercy in real life like it's it's not battle rap like no mercy like a human being can only take but so much so yeah you just have to really watch what you say there's nothing wrong about thinking before you start speaking there's nothing wrong about that at all there's nothing wrong about you know thinking before you talk you know, because, I mean, some people, when they talk about certain topics, when they talk about certain subjects, they don't really take the time to think them all the way through. You know, when they talk about something, when they give their opinion on something, their opinion may sound stupid because of the fact that they don't think it all the way through. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong about thinking before you start speaking. You know, what I mean, but, yeah, I just wanted to share this video with y'all because because i mean you know this is an issue this is like a problem you know like that that that's been you know going you know like going on and and, and you see will smith i just feel will smith got fed up i mean when you select when you a celebrity when you on the top of your game like that that that's really when 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 people really want to like fuck with you People want to fuck with you when you're on the top of your game. You know, like like they want to see you fuck up in order for you to come down to the bottom. Don't 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 be letting that happen. I mean, I know you may get fed up. And, and, and I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes in order to shut somebody up now, I'm not saying that violence is the answer, but sometimes you 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 be in no you be in sometimes you have no choice but to defend yourself and stick up for people that you love. You know what I mean? And, uh, but again, I'm not saying that violence is the answer, though, because it's not. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you may have to whoop someone's ass. Sometimes you may have to slap someone. Sometimes you may have to slap the shit out of somebody, you know, in order for them to shut up. So, yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong about thinking before you start speaking. Always know that your mouth can come with consequences and you got to and, and there's times where you're going to have to be able to deal with the consequences of your mouth. You know, like you, you talking all types of shit about somebody on the Internet, but you're not really like man enough. You don't really have the guts to talk all that shit to their face. You know, what I mean, man up.
always know that your mouth can come with consequences. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, love y'all.